I just refinished this armoire and I did do a video on it, which you can check out right here. If it's not right there, it'll be in the description below. But let me give you a few little, like, little clips of what this used to look like. I'm on it and I'm gonna turn this newly refinished armoire into craft storage or project storage or just storage for the random things that I do. Now that the armoire is all refinished, let's see what I have to work with. I'm going to start by adding storage hardware. I don't even know if that's a real term or if I just made it up, but it's like hooks and things to like organize. So storage hardware. And I need to see which containers are going to work best for storage in this armoire. These shelves pull out and that's really convenient, but I want to make them even more convenient by adding a little handle right here. And well, that's just really pretty. So I ordered these drawers off of Timo. I ordered a big and a small. And you adhere them, like you have this big sticky pad, and you stick them to a surface and then you can open and close and you have a drawer. And they're like a really sleek looking black, which is usually great, I love that sort of look. But for this cabinet, I want it to be kind of cutesy and I don't know, nice looking, like just cute. So I am going to cover the front with some of the flowered wallpaper. <gasps> Will that look good? Hmm. Okay. So I just have to cut the wallpaper and apply it on. I bought this off Timu with the idea that it might make a cute glove dispenser instead of this box. So I'm going to try to put it together without any instructions and hopefully it's as cute as I think it's going to be. And this will then close over like that. Yeah, and then when I want one, I can just pull it out. Okay, let's fill it up. Okay, come on. That's so cute. I'm just gonna hang it on the cabinet now. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. I picked up this caddy at HomeSense and I like the idea that I can fill it with supplies that I take with me sometimes and if it's perfectly in the drawer. And I had Ralph 3D print me that drawer divider. I can't believe what a find this bin is. It fits absolutely perfect, like, like it was made for this drawer. And I can keep things in here separate and also use it as a divider. Now that the hardware is all attached and I've picked out all my bins, I can start loading this up with craft supplies. Pliers and screwdrivers. I can hang the prettiest scissors right here. How perfect's that? The Lazy Susan I'm gonna use for quick to grab things like my tape, measuring tape, some clamps, and it'll be items that I use and replace often. Just something, you know, I can just wanna quickly grab. So that's what I'm using the Lazy Susan for. And now this basket, it's easy to reach. I thought it'd be great for towels and rags for like staining and waxing and cleaning up my messes. So that's this shelf done. This shelf, I'm just gonna load up with supplies. So first I'm gonna start with these paint wipes. They're so good. I just happened to stumble upon these and they are awesome for cleaning up paint messes. So that, some Lysol, 
water bottle, scrub pad. I'm sure I'll fill it with more cleaning supplies. And then this can just be like random supplies. Steel wool, syringes for glue, I guess, or paint. And then I already started with frog tape, so I'm just to use some of my wood filler. Caulking, more wood filler, glue, and some alcohol. I know this is stuff that I'll be changing out, so I thought it'd be good just to have it, like if I'm doing a project, I can grab the whole thing, and if I use this product, I can then just buy another one and just keep refilling. I think that'll look good. So, oh, one more thing. I thought these little holders, perfect. So I put my blades in here, my X-Acto knife and that, and then here I put some pens, pencils, and a Sharpie. This is my basket for random tools. It has my hammer, my miter snaps, spatula, just things like that. And it's something I can keep filling up because I like buying new tools. This bin I'm filling with wood project pieces. And yes, I haven't been ignoring that hole back there. I know it's there. I am going to have Ralph 3D print me a grommet to fit there. And I am keeping it because just in case I ever put like a charger in here or need some sort of power. I'm not going to fill this bin for two reasons that are kind of like percolating in my head. One, I like the idea of having it removed and then using this for like tall store, just, just a space to stuff things. But also, I kind of have an idea of using this for something different in another spot in this craft area. Because it's such a cute bin, I don't want it completely hidden behind doors. So this one is just going to wait. So that means the shelves are all stocked and I can move down to the drawers. I've decided to use this drawer as my paint drawer and I'm gonna fill my little slidey basket with all my paint brushes and rollers and those kind of supplies. I do have more, they're just off site because I'm doing a project somewhere else right now that involves painting. And the reason I like this slidey idea was I'm gonna fill this side with all of my acrylic and craft paints and then as I use them up, I can move this to kind of hold them in place. Because, I mean, you do go through a lot of different paints. So that was kind of my thought. This is like a divider, but it moves to accommodate all my changing over of paints. And this side is gonna be used to hold some of my other painting supplies. So that's my painting drawer done. I thought this spot was perfect for my tools. Ryobi, of course. And the Caddy is perfect for its accessories. Yeah, still not sponsored. And we have like every Ryobi tool. So I've added some glue sticks to my little basket because I thought it'd be great to take this out when I'm working. I can have my glue sticks and the batteries for my tools. And then this side I'm going to load up with just more wooden craft supplies. It's a lot of dowels actually. That is this drawer for now. So I can close this up too. This started as an armoire that my mom was going to take to the curb. I stripped and refinished it, completely changing the look. And now it's a really handy craft cabinet. It's going to be so nice having all my supplies right here instead of having to run upstairs every time I need something. This furniture flip was really inexpensive, so the next time you see an armoire, just think about how amazing it would look as a craft cabinet. Oh, and if you have any crafty storage solutions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye. Does that sound good? It's so hard to know what you sound like when you're talking to, I'm talking to a vacuum. Hello, vacuum, Monsieur Kubota. How do I sound? No, I think he said, told me I suck. Oh no, he sucks. Yes, he sucks. He's great at sucking. I don't even know if I'm great at talking. Okay, anyways. I also need to see which containers. I also need to see which container. I can't remember what I'm going to say. And that's how I wanted to do it originally. Okay, bye bye. bye.